It's really interesting with the current version of the CCNA is it gives you that little taster of these different technologies. So there's a little bit on wireless and a little bit on collaboration, definitely some on security as well, automation, programmability. It gives you a really good sense of which area you might want to dive into as, as you take your next steps. Hi everyone, Patrick Gargano here from the Learning and Certifications team. Uh, I'm an instructor and a content developer with Learning and Certifications. I work on the team that develops the content that you guys can see on Cisco U and specifically the CCNA content. Yeah, and I'm Hank Preston. I'm a principal engineer in Learning and Certifications. And I love talking about certifications, technical training and education. And there's nothing I like to talk more about than the CCNA certification. Now, Patrick, why is the CCNA certification such an important step in any uh, network engineer's career? Listen, the CCNA has been around for quite a while. Um, we've recently updated, updated the exam and the exam blueprints. But the idea with the CCNA, it's, it's the starting point. It's that first certification. It's the certification that gives you that foundation, that grounding in all the different kind of really cool network technologies that Cisco works on. Um, any highlights or specific specific ones that you like, uh, Hank? Oh, man. So there's so many things in the CCNA. Um, if I had to pick a highlight yeah. from the blueprint, I would have to say automation and programmability. Several years ago, I really dove deep into what automation meant to be a network engineer. And I love the fact that even at the CCNA, which isn't focused on automation and programmability, exactly. yeah. our DevNet certifications do that. But we do give you a taste. And that's that hint. With the, the thing that I like the most about the CCNA is that as the CCNA goes, we have a single CCNA certification. But as you move forward in your career and you move into the professional level, you get to start to pick, right? Do you want to go into wireless? Do you want to go into data center? Or maybe even like security, right? It's such a great place to start your career. Some of you are going to start us with the CCNA and become CCIEs in the future. Now, with that in mind, the CCNA Blueprint has six domains, and we're going to talk to you about each one of those domains and what they mean and how to dive into them and what to expect as you learn them in follow-up videos to this one.